This time, I'm going to talk about hidden marker model in Python. Hidden marker model is a statistical marker model in which the system being modeled is assumed to be a marker process with unobserved states or hidden states. Hidden marker models are being used in many fields such as speech, handwriting, gesture recognition. Now, let's assume we have an object. This object has several states, but it's a state we cannot observe directly. All those hidden states, I call them S1, S2, and S3. In the meantime, we can have observations about this object. I call it O1, O2, O3, and O4. Of course, the object can change its state from one to another. If I write A11, that means the object has current state same as before. If I write A12, that means the object changes the state from S1 to S2. All those parameters start with A. We call it transition matrix for the hidden states. Of course, there are another transition matrix for all those observations, although I didn't draw it here. Of course, there are certain connections between hidden states and observations. This is draw with this dot line. And between hidden states and observations, we can also use another matrix. We call it emission matrix. That means certain hidden state can cause certain observation. Let's take a look at an example. Let's assume we have a lazy dog. This lazy dog will do one of those three things. Sleeping, eating, or pooping. This lazy dog can do those three things in this sequence or this sequence or the lazy dog can do the same thing over and over again. For example, he might eat something and then eat something else again. From our observation, we can build our transition matrix. For example, this line means after the dog do sleeping, he might do sleeping again in 40% probabilities. And he might do eating after sleeping in 20% probabilities. For the hidden states, we want to figure out if the dog is healthy or is sick. We can also build transition matrix for this lazy dog. This means after the dog is healthy, 70% probability the dog will stay healthy. But 30% probability he will get sick.
recall the transition matrix and the emission matrix I just talked about. We want to figure out the relationship between hidden states and our observations. In this example, the hidden states is the dog is healthy or the dog is sick. The observation are all those actions the dog did. With our observation and the state of the dog, we can build our model. So this is our final result. As you can see, those are the hidden states of the dog and those are the observations we can have. Based on this model, we can predict if the dog is healthy or sick based on our observations. For example, if I have such sequence of the actions of the dog, so the dog do eating, eating, pooping, eating with this sequence, and based on our model, we can get a result to say, okay, if the dog did those actions in this sequence, most likely until seven, the dog is healthy. But after that, the dog is sick. Until step 12, the dog will get healthy again. If we are given several observations in sequence, it is not easy for us to figure out the best path. Let's take a look what kind of problem we have. For example, if we have three choices for each step and we have four steps all together, one way to solve the problem is we can go through all the possibilities. For example, the first step, we will go to point one, point two, point three. And then after that, we will do it again to do all those three points. And all together, we will have 81 passes to go through. That will consume a lot of time and some great amount of effort. In order to save time, we can do with Viterbi algorithm. What Viterbi algorithm does is it will try to figure out the best path for the first step. In this example, if we know if we go to point two is our best choice, we will ignore point one and point three for the next step. For the next step, when we figure out point one is our best choice, we will just use that point, go to the next. So it will speed up our process significantly. Now, let's go to Python. Let's take a look how can we build our model and how to figure out the best result with our model. We can have three observations of the lazy dog, sleeping, eating, or pooping. And we have the transition matrix here. 
So this is our transition matrix. And based on that, we can draw a graph here. In the meantime, We generated this dot file. We can copy the file. and generate this graph. You can see if the dog is sleeping and 40% the dog will keep in this state and 20% possibility will turn to eating and 40% possibility will turn to pooping. Based on the transition matrix and the emission matrix, we can build our model. Something look like this. Let's take a look at our dot file. and we can generate this graph again. You can see those are our hidden states. And sleeping, pooping, and eating are our observations. Now, if we input such observations in sequence and also we apply our Viterbi algorithm, After we apply our Viterbi algorithm, we can get the result. If we have observations in this sequence, based on our model, we can figure out from step 0 to step 7, the dog is healthy. After that, the dog is sick. and when the dog reach step 12, the dog get healthy again. This is how I build and use hidden marker model in Python. Please provide your comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.